The story I'm about to tell you began here at my home in Easton, Pennsylvania. It was a couple of months ago on a night not unlike any others that my wife and I were reading books to our girls. On this particular occasion, it was a timeless classic from a series of stories involving this lovable furry family. Many of you are probably familiar with this feel-good, heartwarming family and may even recall their name. Or do you? I remember saying, that's weird. Because the way I remember it, these were the Berenstein Bears and not the Berenstain Bears. In fact, I vividly remember the spelling. And when I asked my wife about it, she agreed with me. I was intrigued enough that after the girls had gone to bed, I went straight to Google to find out why the author would have decided to change the spelling at some point. What I found sent shivers down my spine. It seems I wasn't the only one who had noticed the spelling change. In fact, it was a downright conspiracy, and the internet was riddled with articles, blogs, posts, and videos on the Berenstein Bears theory. And I wasn't alone in the discrepancy. The Berenstein Bears? They are the Bernstein Bears. That's the Berenstein Bears. Berenstein Bears. Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein Bears. Barrington Bears? The Bernstein Bears. Yeah, it's the Bernstein Bears. Are they the Charmin Bears? The Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein Bears. Berenstein Bears. So it turns out that what some people theorize is that the spelling differences between Berenstein and Berenstein is a glimpse into and proof of an alternate universe with a different timeline. And it goes back to what people refer to as the Mandela Effect. And that's when the collective consciousness of a large group of people all misremember something happening when it really didn't. Like the common belief that Nelson Mandela died while in prison sometime in the 80s. Something we now commonly know to be false, because Nelson Mandela was freed from prison in 1990 and went on to live a very inspirational life before passing in 2013. Some writers even propose a butterfly effect, that at some point between the years 1986 and 2011, someone traveled back in time and inadvertently altered the timeline of human history so that the Berenstein Bears became the Berenstain Bears, and that somehow we're all living in our own parallel universe. After that, the theory gets even crazier, but just isn't enough time to cover it all in this short segment. But look it up for yourself if you're interested. It's all over the internet. So what do you think? Is this really a glitch in the matrix? Or is it just easier for us to accept the notion that the whole universe might somehow be completely out of whack, rather than admit that maybe our human brains are sometimes faulty and we might be wrong? For VHS TV, I'm Mr. Brandt.